Welcome back, guys, to Rangeland RV's virtual show for 2022. I'm here with Mitch P. And Lucas, our sales team, part of our sales team here. We're gonna do a little cooking with Sluggy. What do you guys think? I'm excited. Uh, there's a lot going on here, and it's there is a me all sorts of excited. So do this, we have to cook all this on site? We're cooking this. This is the deal. This here, cooking with Sluggy is pre-prep before you leave your house. Uh, package it in your fridge, and then there's no prep at the campsite. The Everything's going to be wrapped up, ready to go. The only thing you're going to have to do: throw it on your barbecue, throw it on your campfire, or for the Ziploc omelet, we're going to boil the eggs in a bag. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're good to go. Sweet. Wow. So no prep time at the campsite. So it's easy. Um, like I said, a few minutes of prep while you're at the house before you leave for the weekend and uh, you're good to go. No work on the weekend. No work Whoa. on the weekend. You can concentrate on having a beer or a glass of wine. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad option either because there's no prep. Right? So, like I said. Why don't we start with the first meal of the day that I like to have, that's dinner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> breakfast. Breakfast. What do we got going on for breakfast? So guys, we did Ziploc um, omelets. Really easy. All it is is you're going to pre-mix your omelet mix. So I've got three eggs. I did some ham, cheese, some peppers. You're going to put in your Ziploc bag. You're going to throw it in your fridge. And then when you get to campsite, all you need to do is boil your water and it's gonna cook the eggs inside the Ziploc bag. Now, do you keep this in the water while you're boiling it or boil yes. the water first, then put it in? Just boil the water. Once the water comes to a boil, you're gonna throw your little Ziploc bag in there. 13 to 15 minutes, either gonna be fully cooked like uh, we have out front here. Wow, easy. Wow. Too nope. easy. No, not even dirty in a pan, eh? No. no. Wow. Wanna try it? Try yeah, it on, I do. Let's go. Try it. Come on, Lucas. Come on, Mitch. All right. Try a little bit. Taking the center piece here. Wow. Peppers, mushrooms, ham. That's, That's an omelet. Delicious, right? Wow. And so easy. Yeah, you don't have to dirty a pound for that. That's incredible. I know. I've never seen anyone cook it in a Ziploc bag, so that's a first for me. <laughs> I love it now. Yeah. No, no mess at the campsite. And like I said, no prep. It's already done before you go camping. The biggest wow. thing about making eggs, let's be honest, is having to scrape the pan afterwards. When you're done? None wow. of that. I and do you it. not even know how to flip an omelet, Mitch? No. Now you don't have to. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, All right. let's move along. I'm trying one more then. Okay, have a little bit more. Okay. Well, Mitch is eating a little bit more, of course. We're, let's go over to our, I made a pesto balsamic vinaigrette, uh, pork chop or foil wrap. Obviously you can choose whatever vegetables you want or, um, and your meats. Today I chose a pork chop and some zucchini kind of like um, fall or winter vegetables. So we have peppers, zucchini, mushrooms, and some grape tomatoes. Um, salt and pepper, a little garlic and pesto sauce. When it's finished, you're gonna drizzle a little balsamic vinaigrette over top when you're done. So like I said, you can make your foil packages before you go camping, everything's wrapped up. I did use parchment paper on the inside of all the foil wraps, just helps it from sticking to the tin foil when you put it on either the campfire or your barbecue when you're out camping. Um, it, probably 20 minutes, depending on what type of meat you're using, 20 to 25 minutes in the foil pack on top of the campfire, and then, voila! That's cool. That looks like a gourmet wow. meal. That looks right? like you would get that at I a know. restaurant. No prep time, just throw it on the campfire when you get it. there. I'm trying it. You've got to try it. Lucas is in. I'll try the one that's uncooked. Yeah. Oh, that excellent pretty, idea. Got a little piece there, let's get some veggies on here. Ton of flavor. Wow. Is it good? It's great. It's more there than you good. Go. You have to get your own fork, Mitch. I have my own fork. You need your own knife. Okay. We're in COVID in 2022. Yeah. You need to yeah. just. What was I thinking? Yeah. Back off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's delicious. It's not any oh. good, is it? Yeah, it's more than good. It's yeah. Good. I don't remember the last time I had a pork chop, so I'm kind Really? Of, I'm kind oh, of you're excited. excited. Mitch is excited. Tons of flavor. I'll take that home for dinner. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> wow, that's excellent. 
Good flavor. Mm -hmm. No mess. Like I said, pre prep before you go. So, did you explain the sauces? Uh, just honestly, it's some pesto. Salt, pepper, some pesto. And then at the end, once you're done cooking, a little balsamic vinaigrette when you're all done. Just add that extra Simple little flavor well, on you the vegetables. Could do that right over the fire. Right over the fire. Just wow. pre package, guys, before you leave, throw it in your fridge, throw on the campfire, your barbecue, whatever you need to do. Like I said, a little parchment paper on the inside so your veggies aren't sticking to the tin foil. This slides right out onto your plate. Wow. Good to go. Yeah. Okay, what do we got next? Mexican street corn. Oh, yeah. Kind of a little <laughs> dish for my favorite Mexican. <laughs> Um, anyway, so like I said, guys, your salt and pepper, a little butter, some paprika, um, and then I made a little sauce to go on top, which um, you'll just, you can do everything before you leave again. So you're going to wrap your corn with the spices and the butter before you leave home. You're going to throw that in the campfire of the barbecue, like everything else we're doing today. Good to go. The sauce is fresh cilantro, lime juice, sour cream, and a little mayo. Paprika. Sounds tasty. Now, do we do we just bite opposite sides? Maybe I'll yeah. just let you do the review. <laughs> oh, the Mexican gets to try the Mexican corn. There you go. You do lady in the tramp. <laughs> We're not gonna lady and tramp this. But you can I, use your fingers. I can cut it in half. Oh yeah, okay. Both of us can try. I'm gonna back up. Yep. Don't let one go shooting off the table, Mitch. Just it's Saw through it like a knife. Yeah, this. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. So I, Let I'm me gonna, try. I'm gonna hurt myself. I might hurt myself too. No, it ain't breaking. Here, I got an idea. I told you not to use the <laughs> corn. Like I told you. Okay, Mitch, Mitch, it's going go. flying. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try this side. It's on my brand new shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Okay. You'll drop it out camping too. Not a big deal. I'm getting a rag. Please I'm hold. So. Mexican approved. <laughs> yes! Absolutely. All right, Lucas, sorry wow. you don't get to try it. It's okay. Mitch looks like he's enjoying it for the both of us. It tastes really good. <laughs> And well, Mitch is continuing to eat his Mexican corn. We're gonna go, but last but not least, everybody wants dessert, everybody loves a s'more, but we did donut s'mores. So, little cake donut. I don't know if you knew this. What? Donuts? Yeah. Make me go nuts. <laughs> so, let's try that. So, cake donut, little bit of chocolate, marshmallows, and I threw some strawberries in there. Like I said, pre-packaged, ready to go for when you get there. Throw it on the campfire, melt the chocolate, cook the marshmallows. Lucas, he got yeah. the corn, say, you get the donut. I'm getting first dibs on this then. Should I go for the full bite I just then? take yeah. it. All right. Okay, let's see how this goes. Mitch, I'll save you a bite. You got the corn, he got the donut. That Fair corn trade. was unbelievable. Was it good? I'm going to have to get the you sauce? to write down the sauce because that is wow. unbelievable. We're going to put the recipes up online, guys, too. Or you can give me a shout, 403-279-5200, and I will email you the recipe if you're interested. This is delicious, Denise. Like, this is beyond any donut you could get anywhere. <clears throat> Better than any s'more you would make. We love wow. it. So I do. Uh, s'more donuts. Do you want to try one? I have another one cooked. Do yeah. you need to try it? Let me go to my barbecue here, my trusty little barbecue. Wow. Oh, boom. I mean, is there really a neat way to eat this? Just like, just just like when you're like a kid and you don't want them to have sticky fingers? There we go. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. I love it. I'm getting all these recipes for this year. That's Cooking with Sluggy 2022 at Rangeland's virtual show. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Come on down. You want the recipes, we'll print them off or we'll send them to you by via email. Thanks to Mitch P at Rangeland RV and Lucas, our sales team, for uh, helping me out today. Happy camping. Happy camping. Happy camping.